the water not being, you know, warmer than this. It's hardly warm. Okay, so we're mixing one and a half cups of water. Can you get an egg from there? And five tablespoons of so you guys will want to do this differently from everybody else, I'm pretty sure. Because you'll be very well about the time. Four, yeah. And five. Thanks for helping with the counting because I always lose count. I do. The amount of flour is supposed to use this is going to range anywhere between three to four. Okay, three to four cups, cups. Mm -hmm. of flour. Um, so we are not following this recipe. Exactly. And I tell you, so bread making, you can't follow exactly according to the recipe. What you should look out for more is the texture that you want to see. Okay? Because um, different types of flour, depending on which shop, which brand, which country you are in, will accommodate different levels of moisture. Mm -hmm. Even the weather affects it. So you'll see that all you, all of you will use a, end up using slightly different amounts of flour. And that's why we just mix the dry and the wet separately and we'll only add as much dry as we need. Till we get the texture that we want. No, so even like for the butter, because it just says 12. It says a tablespoon of yeast, right? It actually says flour first. Huh. Yeah. It's actually says all of them together anyways. So I'll just and how much flour? So you said two cups, no? Okay, so when you're measuring flour, because depending on how you measure it, you can end up having different volumes. So we will follow the cut and sweep method. Yeah. So you dip, dip and sweep method. So you dipped it and now you're just cutting it off. Because now at this point, if I shake it, it will sink in and take in more flour. I don't want to do that. So I'm putting one. Okay. I want a little salt. I want all this. Thank you. It says kosher salt, I'm just using regular salt, but I'm going to use only one and a half because we're using melted butter. We're using, sorry, salted butter. So I use Amul for everything because that's very well. So you can, of course, do this painstaking procedure of plucking it off and all that. I don't bother because it's not. How really would you fun. do the chocolate version? The chocolate version, I just add a wee bit of sugar, like maybe a teaspoon okay. or two. And later on, we will stuff it. Yeah, okay. we'll stuff it and we'll roll it. Okay. Yeah, Got so it. don't you really need it to add much. So the yeast goes into the flour. The flour, yeah. when I it, I've written it here. Yeah, in this case, it goes in the flour because we're using instant yeast. That's hmm. also written there with an asterisk. But if you're using instant yeast, yeah. just hmm. add it to the flour. To my because this is instant, you don't act in it, it just goes right in. Precise. That's why it's called instant. So with my type of yeast, you don't have to activate. I've been doing that. Fresh yeast also, you don't have to activate. I've been putting it in warm water, waiting for the bubbles and all that. But it should not harm it, because eventually it yeah, is going to ruin. Yeah. But instant yeast, I like have... smell basically. <laughs> That's because you are somebody who likes baking. A lot of people will find that smell like a little upsetting. <laughs> So you see, it's not a dough so much as a batter at this point yeah. of time. Yeah. So it's too liquid. When I'm calling it a batter, I mean it's too liquid. It's sort of not starting to become a little solid. Now it's a little bit more Dough, solid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's still not what I want. Mm -hmm. I'm going to now. I'm going to start sort of using another. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to fill my cup with one, just it's so I have so much. wipe it off. Okay. And now I won't put all of it. I'll put a little at a time, and till I get the consistency. The reason I filled it up is because at least the recipe is guiding me, so I don't end up, you know, 
and I'm aware that the next time I make it, I know the ballpark of what happened the last time. Um, except that the chapati dough will be much drier. Yeah. So you'll see where I stop. So we call it like a shaggy dough, which is like it's hardly a dough. It just starts clearing the sides of your bowl. This is still not clearing the sides of my bowl. What I mean is like if I run my finger around, it will vaguely form a shape. <coughs> At this point of time, it also makes sense for me to start using my hands. So I just mix it all like that. That's... See, it's starting to clear the sides of the bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Go slow. Now the thing is, the drier your dough, the denser it is. So like all the new age people, they, everybody will say that a sticky dough is a good dough. You know, sometimes that I can't properly knead it. It's not gone to that point. It's still too wet for me to knead it. So you guys can all touch all it and your see. doughs will be like this softish kind. They'll all be soft. The French dough will also start off like this, but we'll knead it and it will. Flatten it out like that with your hand. Give it a knee once. <laughs> okay. Just knead it around once more. Huh? Just like hold it over itself. I feel like it's sticking too much to your hand, then just do that. Take it off your hand, take that off your hand, sprinkle the little flour. उसको साइड में आ जाओ अभी इसको थोड़ा सा फ्लार डाल के इसे जस्ट मूव इट ऑन टू इट्सेल्फ अच्छा योर्स हाँ डेट्स नॉट दिस वन वी हैव कुछ 
Um, there's a rolling pin behind you. Just sprinkle some flour there. Sprinkle <coughs> some flour on top of that also. Thoda sa. Oh, that's it. Now, roll that out into a rectangle. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Rough rectangle is fine. We just need it to so that we can divide it. No, no, fresh, no precision involved. No, no, precision involved. That's okay. So just sort of pat it till it's more or less even in. Huh? Abhi, 6 by 5 because that's 13. Okay? So six parts like this, five parts like this, or the other way around. But essentially, but we want 30 pieces out of this. Okay. Okay. So just do that. Don't drag your knife, just I'll show you. Okay. Calm that a little bit. So. You, you want, you can ply your knife. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it should, but this actually is pretty easy. Yeah, just do this. Now you can use the scraper. And you know what? You don't even have to make all these filled loaves with this. You can just bake it off as is. As and is make like a garlic. Yeah, a garlic bread or whatever. Plain bread also. So I'm just wondering when you're already doing the pieces, hmm. how is the filling, you know? This we're just doing it to separate it into certain okay. Six Should we get started on ours or? I'll just show you the filling once. Okay. While she's cutting it, I'll show it to you. So once you, because they'll be quite moist, mm. so you may need to add a little flour every time. That's your mind. That's it. Pat it in. You know very much like we make alpha and Just pat it. But sticky is not a problem. Put a piece of cheese in it and close it. That's it. So that's one piece. Okay. So you just want to make all of those in pieces. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Off the crust. No, it will stick. stick. You are lining this with butter. Yeah. You can do it with olive oil. They are the rich bread, so I am using okay. butter. Because olive oil. Doesn't, honestly, it doesn't have a traceable difference in taste. So if I can reduce butter and not affect taste, then I am pretty okay to do this. You are just lining it with your... Okay. So keep a little bit like about one fourth of an inch sort of a gap because it will expand. So you will be able to have about three and two here or something of that sort. Hmm? Cool. So see after I did that, I turned it over here and then you took that down. So once this is done, your legs. Of course. Put a little bit of your mix now. Okay. She just like. Don't you have to cover the whole thing? Huh. With Mm -hmm. No, 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 with the cheese also all no, round. Like right? it, just dip it on the cheese leather on all sides. I thought because the niche ka layer is just huh. this thing, no? That's why I thought. Once you have a layer, you can sprinkle a little bit of your fabric over it. And then cooperate with each other and behave themselves. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You learn along the way. You can be less generous with the cheese, or we'll have to grate some more cheese. Which is fine, we can. No, be less generous. There's enough cheese. मेरे ख्याल से मोह जाना चाहिए वो क्या होगा एक निकालेंगे अगर लगेगा कि नहीं हुआ तो but even the one which is ours is that 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 has that brown because I think that it's not brown too much it's liquid but look theirs is brown because it's golden sugar oh okay okay somebody will get bored now but you get touched by this just keep a brown under it give it Wow. Give it a couple of minutes and find it a chill, I think. 